I'm Gerard Kramer. I work for the University of Minnesota. Um, I'm associate professor there in the Department of Veterinary Population Medicine. And today I discussed um, how we can move cows in robot barns. So how we can take advantage of the cow's natural instincts and behavior to calmly and effectively move cows around a robot barn. So as far as producers that are converting to robotic milkers, I would recommend that they take the time to invest in training, training the people that are gonna handle the cows during the switchover, but also train the cows to the new routine. So teach animals how to move, how to stop, and how to make turns, and that everybody on the time when we're doing the switch is that we have the same behavior happening from the people and from the cows. The success factors I discussed were something we call, if you wanna be fast, think PALS, and PALS stands for patience, angle, location, and speed. So patience being how we approach cows, the angles, the specific angle, so working at 45 degree angles or in straight lines. And then as far as location is being aware of how the cow is reacting to you. So you don't always need to be close or you always need to be further away. You need to read the cow and say, okay, where do I need to be? And then realizing that we as humans walk faster than cows, so we need to um, slow down our walking and look like we're almost doing nothing as, so not to approach a cow's pressure zone. Robotics provide more of an opportunity to see cow's natural behaviors, so how cows move in barns and everything else. So it's a great tool to observe how cows react to people, but it takes time and we need to learn, teach cows and people how to make that movement happen without affecting other cows. Cow handling impacts robotic dairies by, I think, um, it has the potential to positively and neg negatively influence it. So I think the negative influence is how it affects other cows. So when we go get the one or two cows that we need to fetch or do something to, um, we need to realize that it affects the group, the whole group. There's an interaction that's happening as you're moving that one cow with the other cows. So we need to be aware of that movement with uh, the interaction to the other cows. The pressure is actually a term that's been used in the beef industry. It's probably more an encroachment because you're not really applying pressure, but pressure being, is it positive or negative? Um, it's we apply the pressure and then the positive thing is when you release the pressure because you're providing the reward. So you apply the pressure to the cow to get her to move and then you reward the cow by releasing the pressure. So it's a positive and a negative because you're using it as a form of training in that aspect. And I think there's a huge value for trained people. So if we can get people to understand cow behavior or even have some basic ground rules saying, okay, when we move cows or when we go get these cows out of the barn or out of the stall, this is how we're going to do it. Because if we want to make that first initial experience as low stress as possible. So if we can accomplish that with trained people, that's going to help through the rest of the startup. Mm -hmm.